AAMG is dedicated to provide the highest quality multi-specialty medical services to patients in the San Francisco Bay Area. Come sign up to be a member today. AAMG. Your choice. Your health. Our mission. It's like so a photograph how we uh, measure asthma uh, and diagnose asthma in the clinic. This is a, uh, a device called a spirometer. And we ask the patient to blow in the machine uh, and then the computer will record how much air the patient can blow out within a second. And that actually measure the airway resistance, how bad the asthma is. This is not only for confirmation purpose, because not all shortness of breath is second degree of asthma. It also will assess how bad is the asthma, where the treatment is uh, sufficient. Taking care of asthma is just like taking care of patients with high blood pressure. We have to measure it. Without measurement, it is difficult to treat the patient properly. Now, this slide shows a, a very small uh, spirometer we call it peak flow meter. I usually give it to patients who is not aware of the severity of asthma. Some people have just have high threshold. So even if they have a severe asthma, they cannot feel it. Those are the most dangerous patients that we deal with because they are not aware of what's going on in the lung. So by the time they feel it, they might end up actually immediately having an asthma attack and even cause death. So it is, um, so a lot of time I give the patient a peak flow meter so that they can measure it at home, usually in the morning, if it get worse, it might be two times a day, they will be instructed to how much medication they should add when they have uh, a lower reading or when to call the doctor and hope to reduce the probability of asthma exacerbation. Uh, this slide show how we find out what, whether the patient is allergic to anything that causes asthma. We can do it at a very young age, the skin testing, basically put uh, the, what the patient might be allergic to, we call allergens, onto the small needle. We scratch the skin a little bit, and within uh, 20 minutes, we will, uh, we will be able to find out if the patient is allergic to anything that might be triggering the asthma. In this situation, this kid is actually allergic to dust mite. This was one of the most common allergens. And as you can see, scratching the skin can cause a, a formation of hive, and which, could, which is, can be very itchy. And when a patient inhale the dust mite allergen, same thing happens in the lung, causing inflammation, swelling, like what I showed you on the photograph earlier. And that is basically asthma. So how do physicians manage asthma? In addition to try to identify the aggravating factor for asthma, allergy, like what I mentioned uh, previously. Medication is important. Uh, there are two classes of medication that we give. Uh, one is a quick reliever. The other one is long-term preventive uh, treatment uh, medication. A quick reliever is usually in inhaler form. Uh, a common one is called albuterol. Basically what it does is dilate the airway, relax the bronchial muscle, so open up the airway so the patient can breathe. It is very a critical that patients don't know when you can have an asthma attack. Patient have an asthma attack, they don't have fast acting bronchial dilator. The patient can die from the asthma. So it's very important to uh, carry the a quick reliever. Now, if one is used overly dependent on the quick reliever, that will also be a problem because the more you use it, the less effective it will be over time. And also you will be ignoring the inflammation in the airway that is the basic cause for asthma. So if a patient required to use albuterol frequently, or if the medication was, has not been sufficient, the patient end up in the emergency room frequently, and we frequently prescribe a long-acting preventive inhaler, usually inhaled steroid, uh, so that the steroid can get in the lung, decrease airway inflammation, swelling, uh, because it's an inhaler form, we can uh, minimize the side effect because the medication will not travel all over the body. Uh, this slide so uh, basically how we treat patient with asthma. Of course, as I mentioned er earlier, the patient, the kids should have albuterol available in case of asthma exacerbation. Uh, if this is not sufficient or if it is the kid required to use it all the time, then we usually uh, start the patient on a low dose uh, inhaled steroid or other oral form of therapy, non-steroid available if appropriate to prevent the asthma. 
If it still doesn't work, then we sometimes step up the medication or maybe a combination of different medication together. And it's still, if it's not helpful, then your primary doctor, the pediatrician, might need to refer the kid to see a specialist like me for further treatment to pinpoint what causing the, the asthma and maybe using a more advanced medication to help the patient. It's like, uh, so the treatment for adult, which is very similar to uh, uh, children, uh, again, a quick relief is important to pres prescribe and to be carried all the time in case of asthma emergency. And if it's not working, again, then we add a preventive medication, usually a bit higher dose of inhaled steroid compared with uh, children because of the adult, the bigger person. And if it still doesn't work, then we add other medication, increase inhaled steroid, and if it's still not helpful, a lot of time, the primary doctor might have to refer the patient to see the asthma specialist for further advanced treatment. For more information on other health topics, please visit the AAMG Health Education website. If you like this video, please give a like and subscribe to our channel for more related content.